Well, we're going to have a time right now. Are you ready? Judy Jacobs Tuttle, co-pastors, a beautiful church in Cleveland, Tennessee, with her wonderful husband, Jamie. In fact, I had the opportunity to dedicate that church building. I remember what I preached. I do. Would you like me to preach it for you? No. No. I remember what I preached. I preached about a west running brook. Hallelujah. It was, it was, I, I liked it. They're full of the Holy Ghost. She has two beautiful daughters that I refuse to believe the last time I saw them and then today. It's just, it's just, I don't, just, boom. there they are. So beautiful, so gorgeous, so accomplished. Kaylee, right? And Erica, they're songwriters and singers. They have a message for this generation, and you'll see. And Judy has recorded eight solo albums. She's traveled and preached this gospel in over 30 nations. And she got the Wigglesworth Summerall anointing right over there in the spot. We love her with all our heart. Would you welcome Judy Jacobs Tuttle. These are the days of your decree. And what you speak, it will be established. And what you bind, and what you loose, is bound and loosed in heaven. So we agree, we agree. We believe the famine is over. We believe fruit is all the vine. Oh, yes, it is. We believe dry places are now watered. It's the latter rain. It's the latter rain. Oh. These are the days when seasons change. The first is last, and the last is now first. All that you've lost, it shall be returned. Lost years, lost months, lost children, lost money recovered. We agree, we agree. Somebody else to agree. We agree, we agree. Hallelujah. We believe the famine is over. I believe it. I believe it. Fruit is all the vine. Oh, yes, it is. Dry places are one. Oh, 
I feel the Holy Ghost. Come on, say anything. Everybody lift your hand and say anything. Oh, when we agree, anything can happen. I believe it this morning. Oh, turn to your neighbor and say anything can happen. I'm believing for a miracle. All things are possible, nothing is, nothing is impossible, but we agree, we agree, all things are possible, oh, nothing is, nothing is impossible, but we agree, all things are possible, oh, nothing is, nothing is impossible, but we agree, we agree, all things are possible, oh, nothing is, nothing is
here's what you gotta do. Give him all the praise. God is in control. You got to give him all your praise. God is in control. Somebody lift up your hand and give him a wave of it. Cause he's in control and then turn around, come on. Turn around, turn around. Yeah, I'll say it again. Give God all the praise. He is in control. You've got to give him all your praise. He is in control. Give God your greatest shout. Today is your turn around day. Go ahead, do it. Do it. Speak it. Get paid. And he'll give you beautiful ashes. Joy for your pain. Pray for your sadness as you remember Jesus' name. Morning into dancing. Sorrow into joy. Every day will be sweet.
believe the word of God that the devil is alive that today is your day of breakthrough today is your day of turn around over your head turn to 10 people and say something's happening right now right now right now those of you out there just say something's happening right now over my head something's happening something something's happening something's happening something's happening Woo! somebody just give God a war who As you go back to your seat, what a delight it, delight it is to be here at World Harvest. Such an honor to be here with this giant. In the natural, he looks like a, not like a normal, regular guy, maybe 5'8", but he's, uh, he's taller than this building. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad that Pastor Parsley, he lives what he preaches? Come on, he lives what he preaches. He is the healed of the Lord this morning. He preaches healing and he gets healing. Come on. What a blessing it is to be here with this man of God. Pastor, thank you so much for allowing me to be back at this, the only church I know on the planet like World Harvest Church. Nobody, nowhere, no place like it in all the world. Delighted to be here with all of you. Those of you who are watching, those of you at Elkhart, thank you so much. We love you so much. I got some very special people with me. The first time I was at World Harvest, this little girl was in my tummy. Kaylee, Judith Kaylee is 19. Erica Janelle is 16. And they are powerful women of God. And we're going to enjoy their music. Give them a great God bless you. Oh, so. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I, I can't remember the last time I was here, but I was just thinking on the front row. I can't think of the last time my mom was here. And I started to worship Jesus with everything that I had on the inside of me. Because the last time my mom was probably here, I was at home, strung out on a bed, fearful, tormented by evil spirits. But I'm here to tell the devil today that I am set free. By the power of the Holy Ghost, devil, you get out, hallelujah, because whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And I've come to World Harvest today to tell you that God still delivers, that he is still for your children, that you don't have to be afraid of the devil anymore, because whom the sun sets free. Somebody lift up a shout of praise like you never have before because he's just so good. Hallelujah. Jesus, we welcome you into this room. You come and you have your word.
to victory, but you have an overwhelming victory. The thing that has overwhelmed you, God is about to overwhelm in your life. Somebody shout! Overwhelming victory! Overwhelming victory! The devil is a liar over this generation! Just shout, just shout, just because he's good. You don't need any music to praise God in your life. You just lift up a shout of praise. Just lift your hands all over the room. Something's breaking in the atmosphere. Something's breaking over you. Over your children, over your family, over your finances, something's breaking over you. There's no fear in love. We love you, Jesus.
situation this morning. He is higher than your circumstance this morning. Come on, magnify the Lord over your struggle. Magnify him over your weakness. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's good. Yeah, he's never going to let you down. 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 He's never gonna let Lifting up a sound to Jesus. You love to hear us sing to you. You're the joy set before us, yet. You are the joy set before us, yet. We love you, Jesus, in this house. Come and do what you want to do. Come and say what you want to say. And come and hear what you want to hear. We give you permission. Yeah, and come release what should be released. And come reveal what should be revealed. Jesus, come and be who you want to be. We give you permission. Yeah, come you want to do and come and say what you want to say yeah come and hear what you want to hear we give you permission Jesus we love you yeah come release what should be released Come reveal what should be revealed And come and be who you want to be We give you permission Come on, sing it out to him, come and do And come and do what you want to do And come and say what you want to say Come and heal what you want to heal. We give you permission. Oh, Jesus. Come release what should be released. And come. 
Whatever you permit on earth, I'll permit it in heaven. And whatever you release on earth, I'm going to release it in heaven. And so today, nothing happens on earth until it happens in heaven. Nothing happens in heaven until it happens on earth, I should say. So if you're needing God to do something that you've never had him to do before, I'm just asking, is there anybody else want in on this prayer right here? Get out of your seat and come and say, I'm going to give God permission because whatever I permit, he's going to permit it. And whatever I loose, he's going to loose. I'm here to declare today that today is a day of turnaround. Today is a day of breakthrough. Today I declare it will never be the same again. If you believe it, shout amen. Come on. Come and do what you want to do. Let's go, girls. Come on, sing. Come and say.
this word that God gave me for this church and for this man of God and woman of God, this family, this beautiful family. Four words, four words God told me to speak it over you and over this church and over the people who are watching online, Elkhart, whoever you are, wherever you are, and you're watching and you come under the umbrella of this man and this woman. God says, release these four words. Now, there's something about a shout. If you want to know what it's about, ask Joshua and the children of Israel. They'll tell you. And this is what I firmly believe. If you're not saying it, then you won't see it. And if you're not seeing it, it's because you're not saying it. You got to say what the word of God. The reason why he is standing there doing this to me is because he kept saying it. And look at him right now. He is the heel of the Lord. One word from God can change, can change, can change, can change, can change, can change. One word. You've heard it a million times. Now you've heard it a 100 million and one. I'm going to release four. And when I do, if you believe it, you better, you better take the roof off this building. You better shout like your life depends on it. I'm going to release these words and I, when I say it, I want you to release it in faith. And musicians, I want you to give me the greatest boom a lamb boom boom bang boom drums. Let it go like you're five years old, brother, okay? Just hit it as hard as you can. Four words and then just boom, one big old one. And whenever I say these four words, you better act like you know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm declaring over this man and I'm declaring over this church. There it is. Are you ready for this word? Shout yes. Here it is. Your enemy has failed.
you want to take you away with you, but look at you. Tell somebody, look at me. I'm stronger. I'm stronger. I'm louder. I got more power. I got more anointing. And I'm still here. Shout, 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 shout. your enemy has failed now that he has failed God said get ready to shout get ready to shout if this applies to you if it don't I'm, I'm done I mean my time is up but if this applies to you number one household salvation owners way that God says I tell you number two in this season we're about to go into we're in in and already about to go into it so Shoshana here he says get ready for contacts and more contacts shout 
you, you, you're acting like you're waiting for number three, but you haven't shouted real good about one and two yet. on this one like you lost your mind now if you don't shout on this one it's because you don't need it okay if you don't need it give it to him maybe he'll pay me a tithe off of it I don't care I don't know what just say God says to tell you Pastor Parsley World Hearts Church he said tell you money is coming She's talking about me. She's talking about me. Tell me the Holy Ghost is talking to me this morning. Here's number five. Here's number five. Hey, hey, hey.
Number five, Jeremiah 33, 3. Call unto me and I will answer thee. I will answer thee. God says, get ready for answered prayer. The Holy Ghost put his healing power in my left hand, 1979, coming in your left hand now. Now, 
right now. From Wigglesworth to Summerall to me to your mama to me, to you. Are you ready? All right, turn around. Turn around. These two have been struggling for two years. They have been faithful to fight. And tonight, this morning, their deliverance is here. Now, God, God, do it. Let these hands be your vessel. In Jesus' name, on three, shout one, two, three. Diana. Huh? Okay, come here. Get back in this. Get back in. Get back in the spot. Get back in the spot. Right here. See that big stain right there? That's from oil. Stand right here. Turn around. Turn around. This precious lady and her husband and her two beautiful children. Give me a handkerchief so I look presentable. Why are you watching? Pray in the Holy Ghost. Right? No spectators. Only participants. You participate in every miracle. You participate. Look at somebody and tell them, God wants me. To use my anointing, my anointing which I have, which I have without, repentance, without repentance right now, right now power over all devils, power, over all power to cure diseases, power, to cure diseases power, over serpents, power over serpents, scorpions, scorpions all the power of the enemy, the and, the nothing enemy and nothing shall by any means, shall by any means harm, us harm us when we agree. When we now agree. tell somebody I agree. There are no individual healings, only corporate healings. That's the hour we're in. Oral Roberts had individual healings. This is not that hour. This is the hour of agreement, participation, letting God step in through every one of us at one... I dare you to shout, it's already done. Jesus shouted, it is finished, and he didn't mean maybe. So this precious lady and her husband and their two babies came from Westerville for the first time, Elder Canfield. How many, how many years you've been coming? 33 years. 33. That's when Jesus took off, you know. So, so, you two don't ever forget, go here where I can see you, you two don't ever forget, this is signs and wonders generation, you know that, this is signs and wonders generation, and you're a sign, and you're a wonder, do you understand, I remember when your mother talked to me 
in a trailer at TDM and I gave her a prayer cloth for you and I prayed for you and she prayed for my son and we agreed now here you are and double huh and my son is in his last year of college yeah. signs and wonders okay I'm going back over here now so this precious lady and her husband and her two children you can go home anytime you want I, I bet there are more signs and wonders going on here than on the NFL I bet you I bet you and I bet you we got a better shout in here too For their first time last Sunday <laughs> and God said she has a tumor and I said well it's about to go yeah. so Miss Diana spent the rest of the morning with her she went back to her doctor and her doctor said well there's some something there but it's absolutely nothing to worry about at all But this morning, even though at, I, I, you know, preachers used to preach all the time. Well, God will heal you, but he won't heal the scars. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he will. They, they told me there are scars all over my vocal cords. But every day they're going. Liquidating. For this purpose was the Son of God manifested that he might annihilate, destroy, cause to cease to be as though they never existed. The best translation is liquidate all the works of the enemy. So just tell it, liquidate right now. And get out! Get out! So we just command the whole thing to go now by the power. Yeah! I thought you were shouting. Yeah! Every lump, every knot, every growth, every tumor. When I shout three, shout come out, you foul thing. One, two, three.
And I think this generation and the next one are in pretty good hands. I think they're in pretty good hands. Every head bowed, every eye closed, no one looking around. This I know. Every person in this building, every person watching, all of us are going to live forever. God so created the human family that we have eternity in our soul. The question is a simple one. Where? Now your Bible, which is the only book that gives accurate directions to eternal destinations, only tells us of two possibilities. One is a place called heaven where we leap like a heart over the everlasting hills of God's glory. We'll suffer no more, sigh no more, cry no more, we'll die no more, but live in the eternal presence of God. A place where he'll wipe all the tears from our eyes. A place where we'll beat our plowshares <laughs> into weapons of praise. The other is a place called hell. 90% of the churches in this city will never tell you about it. One of my assistants before this service walked up to me. One of our programs was on, I'm not sure which one. And I was giving an altar call, just like I am now. He said, Pastor, I was never told that. I was born in the church and raised in the church. And no one ever told me, no one ever told me that I was born in sin and that I needed a savior. If you tell this generation, God loves you and has a plan for your life, their response will be, well, of course he does. It's all about me. And he better have a good plan too, because I'm all that. They have no need of a savior because they're unaware of their sinful condition. But God said man without Jesus is at enmity with God. He's at war with God and God with him. But the man Christ Jesus became the mediator between a righteous God and a sinful man. And this morning there's great hope for you because you don't have to go to hell. God sends no one to hell. If you go there, you'll be an intruder on him for the endless ages of eternity. And I feel in my heart that there are many this morning that don't have the peace of God. That if you died in the next five minutes, if you laced your shoes for the last time, if you got in an automobile accident on the way home, they had to cut your clothes off of you. Or you just drove in your neighborhood and got shot. Where are you safe anymore, by the way? Not in the shopping mall. Not walking down the street. Not in the movie theater. Not at school. Not at work. The only safety is underneath the everlasting arms of God. And to know that regardless of what happens on this earth, to be absent from this earth, you breathe your last breath here and take your next breath in heaven. That's what Jesus offers you. So I'm going to count to three because you have to make the choice. We are not Muslims. You're not a Christian because you were born one. We're not Jewish because you're Jewish because you were born Jewish. We're Christians because we made the decision to accept the only true and living God and His Christ as our personal Savior. So, I'm going to count to three, and I want you bravely and boldly to shoot your hand up in the air and say, Pastor Rod, pray for me. Before I leave this building, I must know that I'm as sure for heaven as if I was already there. This is it. Tomorrow's promise to no one, so make it quick. 
do what you know you'll be glad you did when you stand before God in eternity. On three, raise that hand. Do it now. One, two, three. Raise that hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Leave your hand up. Somebody is coming to you. Leave that hand up. Somebody is coming to you. They've got some information for you. Leave it up. Leave it up. Leave it up right where you are. Someone's coming to you. Leave that hand up. In fact, everybody raise your hands. Pray this simple prayer. Heavenly Father, I come to you today, born a sinner, and I have committed sins. They've separated me from you, but today I accept Jesus Christ as the full payment for my sin. Satan, self, I will never serve you again. Today, I claim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. And I will live for you the rest of my days. It feels so good to be forgiven. I could almost shout and clap. Oh, why not? Well, if you were in a hurry today, that altar call was for you. Blessed be God forever. I'm so glad to go to a church where we don't tell the Holy Ghost what to do. I really am. I don't have a click track in my ear telling me when to do what. I got a track in here and I've been obeying it for the last 40 years this year. 40 years. Hallelujah. How old are you, Kaylee? 19? How old are you, baby? 16? I started preaching full-time when I was 17. My daddy used to say, it's a good thing I could preach a little bit, because I sure couldn't do anything else. You're so beautiful, and we thank your mother for sharing both of you with us. What a treat. What a treat. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.